Congress on Information Technology. Every two years since 1978, the WCIT has been held in leading IT countries around the world. This year, Taipei, Taiwan successfully hosted WCIT 2000 with around 1,800 delegates from 86 countries. Mr. Richard Yin, Chairman of WCIT 2000, welcomed the delegates under the theme of IT for a Better World, a New Millennium. President of the ROC, Chen Shui-bian, attended the opening ceremony and gave his speech to the delegates. Zaiku 环境污染的恐惧 President Chen officially pronounced the opening of the 2000 World Congress with a gong. The mayor of Taipei, Dr. Ma Ying Xiao, then showed the warmth and hospitality of Taipei as he greeted delegates. It's really and Robert great Lawrence, honor chairman of the World Information Technology and Service Alliance, officiated over the proceedings and welcomed delegates it's with and great guests. pride that I welcome you. For three days, delegates from around the world had the unique opportunity to hear from IT industry leaders as they set forth a vision for IT in the 21st century. Well, the PC has become not only a creativity tool, but a communications tool. All of the advanced equipment that connects up to the internet will follow the rules of the PC. That is, it will be equipment based on having low prices and software standards in order to run rich applications on every device. This is an age where people can connect anytime, anywhere, to useful e-services of all kinds, where any application, any process, any problem, any asset can be turned into a service and delivered over the net. The second industrial revolution will occur in two to three decades. It will bring together people in global, information companies, ecosystems, if you will. And it will determine the fate of companies, the fate of countries, and it will change everybody's lives. It enables us to build better software by treating our customers as partners in the use of this technology. We get all of their feedback, whether their feedback is local, they're down the street in, in RTP, North Carolina, or whether they happen to be in Romania or Australia or Taiwan. This is an industrial revolution based on leapfrogs and interactions between six key technologies. It's not just information technology. It's not an information revolution. It's something much bigger than that, even though information is an important part of it. On June the 12th, under the theme of impact of information technology on world economies, the speakers are Dr. Lester Thoreau, this is Carly Fiorina, Stan Shi, Dr. Shi Chien Yang, John Rockefeller, Dr. Robert Mundell, Kurt Hellstrom, Dr. Victor Fung, William Stortz. On June 13th, under Emerging IT Strategies, Business Models and Applications, the speakers are James Gilmore, Bill Gates, Robert Young, John Chambers, Tadashi Sekizawa, Joseph Tucci, George Newstrom, Dr. Michael Kaupland, John Patrick, Frank Doyle. 
On June 14th, under IT for a Better World and Asia Pacific Forum, the speakers are Dr. Ma Ying Chiao, Patricia Hewitt, Lim Sui Se, Risto Linturi, Dr. William McGee, Matthew Miao, Neville Roach, Dr. Y.T. Lee, Tomio Kambayashi, Dr. James Liu, Dr. Othman Yop Abdullah. Speakers were introduced by industry and academia celebrities. Four hundred and fifty media representatives from international and local media produced billions of media impressions to make this event the focus of the IT industry. An efficient and well-manned media center was available, complete with phone banks, computers and laptops. Following speakers' presentations, Q&A sessions were held with representatives of worldwide media. Hundreds of interviews conducted during the three-day Congress. One of the popular spots during the Congress was the eShop, where delegates could shop for various IT products sponsored by IT companies with WCIT 2000 complimentary e-card. In addition, thousands visited and were impressed with the outstanding products and demos exhibited at the sponsor's exhibition area. Surrounding the 2000 World Congress were evening programs and cultural events which dazzled delegates and guests as they enjoyed fine dining and entertainment. At Taipei Night, co-hosted by Taipei City, where delegates gathered at City Hall Plaza to enjoy music, fun and entertainment. International Night, co-hosted by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Dinner and artistic performances at the Palatial Grand Hotel left an everlasting impression with guests and delegates. The June 13th Culture Night, co-hosted by the Council for Cultural Affairs, was a very special evening in which guests and delegates dined at the National Theatre, experienced the beauty of modern dance performed by the famed Cloudgate Dance Troupe, and witnessed for the first time WISA's Global IT Excellence Awards, in which 10 awards were presented to outstanding leaders in the global IT industry. A special ceremony was held here in Taipei at the 2000 World Congress as the chairmanship of the host organization, the World Information Technology and Services Alliance, WISA, was officially transferred from Mr. Robert Lawrence to Mr. George Newstrom. 
Through the new WISA chairman, Mr. George Newstrom, Taipei hands over the World Congress crystal, the symbol of the WCIT, to Mr. Alan Baxter, chairman of the 2002 World Congress, which will be held in Adelaide, Australia, under the theme Unleashing the Power. With the 2002 World Congress in good hands, the staff and organizers of the 2000 World Congress bid the guests and delegates a hearty farewell. Partner for a better.